Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to start showing you my main display and I will start with um, core management. Uh, that's a, a kind of controversial topic to discuss because um, everyone has different opinions, but uh, overall, the main point on um, core management is always to uh, to have everything organized. If you can keep everything organized, uh, you will find that it's a lot better to do uh, maintenance in your equipment um, with time to time, uh, because everybody knows everything breaks at one point or another. So let me show you uh, what I did with, uh, with my setup. Hey guys, welcome back. So in, uh, in this video, I will show you the control panel, the setup that I decided to change um, for the one that I have previously. Uh, the video here, uh, it was taken at six in the morning on a Saturday. My voice was really bad, so I decided to um, record uh, what I did over the video. So here you can see my final control panel. It's a DIY control panel. I made it with some uh, three, four plywood and um, all around. The, the control panel itself was based on a, a few uh, options that uh, you can see in um, uh, places like Bulk Supply or Marine Depot. Uh, it, uh, they sell the, the control panel. Um, unfortunately, it's a little bit too expensive uh, for my um, for my liking. So I decided to build my own. Here, you guys can see the previous uh, panel that I have. So I just when I built the tank, I, I was thinking and hide all the wires. I thought that was a good idea, but in reality, it was not very good because with time, uh, all the equipment that I, I was getting. Uh, more and more uh, created um, uh, a nest some people call it a rat nest um, so it was time for an upgrade something a lot more clean something a lot more slick that will allow me to uh, disconnect or connect stuff as I um, as I needed um, that's that was the main purpose of the control panel so in the video you can see i was showing you guys all the stuff that i have to work with i have to pull the sump disconnect everything drain the tank in order to move it uh, it was a big project i was uh, procrastinating on doing this for a very long time until i, I decided to uh, do it and it took me forever so in the next uh, pictures yeah you will see the progress of the um, the, uh, the project um, when the stuff was pulled uh, the sump when the sump was out um, uh, also when I, I moved the tank I decided to move the tank a, a few inches to my left uh, in order to clear some uh, space that I needed uh, the whole project took me almost um, 12 hours, yeah, around 12, 12 and a half hours uh, straight, working straight. Uh, that, that It was a huge, huge project. Uh, usually I don't like this kind of stuff, it, those type of projects because of that reason. But uh, the end, the end result was very good. So thank you guys once again and uh, see you in a minute all right a little update and the uh, mess that i have here um so it took me a long time to pull the sump out i finally did it uh it was a nightmare the the biggest thing that i have to do here is that i have to move the tank the tank three inches to my to my right Okay, so I had to empty almost all the water. That was pretty sketchy. I took all the water, almost all the water out. 
I left like about one fourth the water in the tank. Uh, I managed to move it without breaking anything. And the tank is filled and everything is there. So I cross my fingers that everything works out. So those are those were the three inches that I marked prior to the move. Why did I do that stuff? Because the the whole panel over here is slides. Slides to the right, slides to the left. Uh, and I also needed this door to open up completely, which is doing right now. Apologies for the squeeze. Uh, okay, so the whole thing moves. All right, as lights. So that way I can, uh, if I have to disconnect anything, I can slide it all the way to my left and disconnect whatever. All the plugs are going to be like right here, the regular plugs. And um, you, you will see later. Okay, uh, so yeah, he, here is a mess, huge freaking mess. That's my rat nest that I found under my tank. I When I built this, I thought I was doing a good job. No, I was not doing a good job. I was doing a freaking mess. Uh, it's not practical having all that stuff hidden. Uh, when doing a, um, a control panel, most important thing that you gotta think out is it has to be practical. It has to be, you have to be able to remove things and put things back in as you need it. If you cannot do that, that means it's not good. Uh, hopefully this one is good. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, here's the sump. Four years of calcium buildup. Uh, DIY sump I built four years ago. Uh, and here's everything else. So hopefully I can finish this uh, today. Well, I ha actually have to finish this today because uh, my kid is coming in and I won't have time to do anything else after he's here. All right, thank you and see you in a minute. All right, quick update. I was able to remove the all control panel. Um, it, it wasn't a control panel. It was just a piece of plywood stick to the back of my DIY uh, stand with all the wires attached uh, with the uh, zip ties. Uh, as you can see here, here, everywhere. Uh, they are gray to maintain the, um, the organization and the wires. The problem uh, with zip ties is um, when you have to remove stuff to clean up or stuff that breaks. You can't, <laughs> especially in a tight place like this. Um, last year, I had a big problem with my main pump and also my skimmer pump. I couldn't, I couldn't remove the, the whole thing out of, the, uh, out of the, the, the system because of that. I, uh, so what I ended up doing is uh, cleaning the main pump and the skimmer pump like right here, like next to the to the stand. Um, that was like my initiation to to do something about it. I didn't want to do something about it because I knew I have to do uh, this mess, but it will be worth it at the end. Okay, so that was the quick tip. Uh, what not to do when doing a control board using zip tights. Do not use zip tights. What you should use? You should use uh, something like this. This is a uh, wire uh, um, uh, rail. So all the wires go in and you pull whatever you want uh, and what size you want. Um, not using zip tights is the best uh, idea. Okay. So do not do that. <laughs> All right, so in these coming pictures, I'm showing the final product of the control panel. 
uh, the back end of the control panel so this is how all the wires were plugged in the back and also in the front uh, remember none of this stuff is going to be ever removed it's going to stay as it is so uh, that is pretty much a uh, set it and forget it type of deal if I need to remove anything it's going to be removed uh, later on with the extension cords that I, that I put into the, the board. Okay guys All right guys, so here is my um, my main display I'm not going to talk too much about it. That is going to be in uh, in a future video and you know in this video is only about core management so This is the final product uh, of what I did. This is the whole control board. Uh, okay, so what I did, let me show you. The door is magnetic, so I can remove the door. And I have full access of all my, uh, um, my equipment, um, power supplies. All right, so I'm running my Apex Junior, uh, and also I have uh, this power supply is called Kill a Watt. It's very good. Uh, it shows a, a bunch of features that uh, it, it, they help. They are not needed, but they help. And at the bottom, I have my battery backup, and as you can see on the sides. I have fans in each side, so that's for uh, heat distribution. This stuff gets a little bit warm, the, this one in particular, and also the battery. They get a little bit hot, so with, um, with the fans, they, they work very well. Um, okay, so all my cords are right here. If you can see, they're right there. So the whole main, the whole thing about this is I do not have to disconnect anything on here. Uh, the stuff that you see right there is, that's, that's it. If I want to disconnect to, let's say, serve a pump or something like that, what I do is I go under here and I do some plug it, serve the pump and plug it back in. That way I can have a very organized setup and none of the cords are hanging or in the way. Okay, so uh, have that. All right guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you like this little update. Um, on the wire management and the control board that I built. Yeah, it's always um, a little bit uh, difficult to, to come up with a good idea on how to keep all the wires organized and all the equipment uh, right at your disposal and, and at the same time looking uh, nice. Uh, I hope you like it. Uh, if you do, please uh, consider subscribing and Give me uh, some feedback, give me some comments, what you like, what you didn't like. And I see you guys on the next uh, episode or next video. Thank you so much and bye-bye.